Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. So it is a beautiful day today and I'm outside. I'm on the side of my house and you can see there's my old greenhouse right there. And if you guys guessed, I'm finally tackling the project that I have been putting off for weeks now. I just, I couldn't think of any more excuses. I had to come out here and do it. Let me show you. And that project is cleaning up my potting area. I mean, please tell me you guys have spots like this in your yard. It is just an absolute mess. I mean, there's weeds everywhere. There's pots that have blown over. I honestly, I might've just thrown that there and not even thought about it. I think these are Annie's annuals pots. There's a shelf that I took down. There is just junk everywhere. So it's a gorgeous day. There's cardboard. I don't even know why there's cardboard there. Cardboard over there too. Anyway, <laughs> I have my garbage can here. I'm gonna go through, and my plan is, is to go through all these extra pots that I save. I just obsessively save every single pot that I get a plant in, and I don't need all these. So I cleaned out my pots one time um, a while ago, and I just put it on Craigslist for free, and they got picked up like that. Uh, you know, people want pots like this. So I think that's my plan. I'm not gonna recycle these or throw them away or anything like that. I'm just going to put them in you know in my driveway and then put an ad up on craigslist and i think that they'll get picked up so this is my big plan for this afternoon it's not very pretty but it's something that needs to get done and i think probably the reason why i am dreading this so much is you can just imagine how many spiders are in all of these pots and all of these nook and crannies so i'm gonna go get gloves on i have my big boots on so if i step in something <laughs> you, know, you know when you just get thinking in your mind like oh I know there's going to be spiders there um, so that's where I'm at right now so if you guys see me flinch a little bit while I'm filming this that is why so wish me luck and real quick before I get started I wanted to give you guys an update on my mason bees so this is my new mason bee house and then I put out these mason bees to hatch and I don't know if you guys can see right there move my hand out of the way there's one that's hatched so I don't know where he or she went. I keep looking down at the ground to see if I see anything, but I don't see anything. But I do still have my little uh, source of clay or mud right there for them. Um, so they have that and I've been keeping that wet. So hopefully they're doing well and more of them will hatch. Just wanted to give you guys an update. All right, let's get started on this mess. Yikes. Okay, you guys, it's going really well. I've got 
most of the pots organized. I'm trying to put them in like like with like to see exactly how many I have. And it's ridiculous. I did not need to save all of these. This is like um, <laughs> hoarder status at this point. <laughs> Let me show you. So you can see, I was trying to put the pots like with like, you know, you can see I have all the proven winners right there. Um, the Annie's annuals ones fell over back there. These are ones I bought off Amazon. Um, so I have a ton. I have way too many. I'm never going to use all of these. I don't know why I felt the need to save all of these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, just take a couple of the ones, not a couple, I don't know, like 20 of the ones that I want to keep and then put all the rest out on my driveway and then post on Craigslist or Facebook, um, free pots. And I bet you they'll get picked up. I do have this upside down tomato cage with my steaks in it. And I figure I probably should do something else because that doesn't work very well. And then I realized I have this big pot. So I think I'll put my steaks in there. I have one more of these black shelves that I'm going to put right here. Um, just so I have some more storage area. And then right here, I've got most of these cleaned off. And so then I'll just put whatever I'm going to keep there. So not very pretty, but super useful and something that I've been needing to do for a really long time. found one spider so not too bad lots of spider webs so that was kind of gross but it was totally fine um, and then I ended up getting rid of a ton of pots I didn't even need this third shelf here right um, right there so I've got all the pots in the front of my garage and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna post on Craigslist and Facebook uh, marketplace the free section so hopefully somebody will come and pick them up and I think they will we have a lot of gardeners in this town um, but let me show you guys what I did so it's nothing amazing to look at it's not like a garden bed or anything like that but it's way more organized and I'm really, really happy with it. And I think it'll be perfect uh, starting the gardening season. So I've got, I just kept just a few, and by a few, I mean probably like a hundred of these pots, just in case I wanna pot up my tomatoes um, or my other, any other seedlings I have. Um, I have my Hortonova netting, and then I have some of my, my terracotta pots, um, and then a couple of the bigger pots over here and more terracotta over here. So you can see, I'm gonna leave this here just in case I collect more pottery or something like that. I wish I had more of a long-term solution here um, that was like a little bit sturdier shelving but I think what we need to do before that is I think we need to get rid of this darn rock this I mean I wonder if the bigger rock is cheaper because there's a bunch of like big size rocks here that it just makes it like it's it's hard to get anything level um, and it's like again it's like four or five inches deep here so this is a project that Jason and I want to hit I don't probably not this year probably another year but I would love to take all this rock out and then put some concrete and get like a shed like a storage shed or a potting shed or something right here I think that that would be really pretty so you guys can see I still have the extra shelf here I figured I'll just save it just in case we need it somewhere and then I have my tumbling composter I did a video on this guy putting it together it was kind of a pain in the butt but I'm really happy with it it's it's so far it's I mean it's only been you know like a month or two but so far it's holding up pretty well um so I'm glad that I got that and then ignore that that's some plastic that I need to get rid of that so 
this is fun. <laughs> that um, plastic I bought because this greenhouse broke and I didn't know what to do because I had all of my seedlings in there. And so I bought that plastic so that I could hook it over the edge um, and keep my seedlings warm during a frost last year and it didn't work and I got really annoyed and I threw it over there and it's been there for a year. So I got to throw that away. But again, I'm afraid there's gonna be spiders in there. So maybe I'll ask Jason to do that. So anyway, this project is done and I am so happy that I finally got out here and accomplished this. This has been on my to-do list for quite a while. It's just something, you know, you guys, you have those chores that you just don't want to do and you build it up in your mind. And this only took me maybe a little over an hour or something like that. So I don't know why I didn't get out here earlier and get this done, but I'm really glad that I have it done now. So even if it's not planting time in your guys' zone yet. Maybe you guys can get out here, get outside and get some organizing done, getting your potting storage area done or, you know, something else like that to prepare for this year. So I hope this motivated you guys. Um, if you want to see more videos, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get out into your garden today. Mm -hmm.